I just think of you as deliciously, Ella. That's your first name to me now. I know, it is to a lot of people. It's nice. That's a nice way to be known. Exactly. But as we say, it has been a long way since 2012. And, I mean, this... Uh, gosh, you've products all over the country. Here we are with your new book today. And this all came about from your own health and wanting to improve how you felt, Ella. Exactly. And that was... It was a tough time because you were in a fairly dark place for a long time. You just couldn't get yourself better again. Exactly. So in um, 2011, I was diagnosed with a condition that affected my autonomic nervous system. And I spent about four months in that hospital. And I was 20 and I was prescribed steroids. And we told about beta blockers and things like that. So I was struggling with my heart rate, um, all kinds of other symptoms. And then chronic fatigue and chronic digestive systems as well, digestive issues as well. And I started taking on the medication and it just didn't work as well for me as it could. So I started to look at what else I could do to support that and thought, well, you know, my diet could be better. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if that helps. But was just so uninspired by kind of fruit and vegetables. It felt like it either had to be a diet or it was just kind of a little bit bland and I wanted to reinvigorate it. You know, at the moment I read recently, you know, not much more than a quarter of our country eat their five a day. And that's because it's really boring. Yeah. And, you know, oftentimes, and no one's that excited about steamed broccoli. And so I've kind of, my whole journey's just been about trying to reinvent the way we see these ingredients, you know, just a little chickpea or something like that to make it delicious, interesting, abundant, colourful, exciting, because I think that's the only way we're going to want to eat our vegetables. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it had a, a huge effect on your it health. Did. In fact, it turned your entire life around yeah. by changing what you ate. Yeah. So it works. It <laughs> did. It worked. Well, it worked for... Look, everyone's so different, but for me, it made a huge impact. And I worked closely with my doctors, and we did an exercise study and a brilliant nutritional therapist, and that supports it so much. But I've been able to manage the condition ever since through the power of diet, which has been so interesting. And, but also I've fallen in love with cooking those kinds of foods along the way. Before, you know, I always assumed healthy food or vegetarian food would be so bland and kind of a little bit rabbity. <laughs> and, um, and it doesn't have to be that at all. You know, it can be like hearty curries and stews with loads of spices and coconut milk and lots of delicious ingredients. Exactly. So you, I mean, you were never a, a natural loving salad person at no, all. No, all. So <laughs> all of a sudden, not, it's still not, yes. But this, <laughs> off the back of this, the blog, came about then yes. and it gave you a real purpose then because this exactly. is where the passion was born totally and I was I really struggled with my mental health when I was unwell um, as I said I was really young all my friends were off having a good time and I was sitting in bed on my own I watched a lot of things like the Kardashians <laughs> and a lot of TV shows we all have moments, exactly yes. and I spent basically a year on my own I felt so isolated and so useless and my self-esteem absolutely plummeted every day I felt just such a kind of lack of I didn't know why I was there at that point and so starting something, as you said, that kind of reinvigorated a passion, a purpose, started to give me confidence and optimism and a reason for being every day. And that was so powerful. Well, the social media has started the business, basically, 100%, didn't it? I mean, absolutely. It's, you would credit that. Instagram's been huge. Completely. You've got that instant kind of connection with with your followers yeah and you hear what they think whether they love something and in fact you have mentioned about how you like to put nice perfect moments up on instagram a lot of people don't and they like the honesty but you mm. prefer to do the pretty pictures yeah i think for me it's always really important to say social media you know we need to have a really honest conversation about social media social media is a place for bringing together like-minded people over passions they share to get ideas to get inspiration it is not reality. It's a highlights reel. Yeah, and it's I think very if you, true. and that's what it is. And therefore, for me, it's an amazing place to share recipes, share ideas, get people cooking, get people inspired about what they're going to make that evening. And that's amazing. And that sense of community there is really powerful. But then at the same time, I think it is important just to highlight that sense of highlights reel yeah. as often as you can. Exactly. And and a lot of that is, is in this new book, Plant-Based yeah. Cookbook. Exactly. And it is exactly what it says. A plant-based cookbook. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, with interesting recipes. Yeah, so that's the whole idea is I, I really believe if we're going to be excited about eating our vegetables, it's got to be delicious. So it's like Sri Lankan curries with loads of spices, Thai curries, five bean chilli, cornbread, and then like the salads are things like miso roasted aubergines and broccoli and peanut sweet potatoes and, you know, we're really moving away from limp lettuce. Yes, um, yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> you won't find any of that. <laughs> None of that exists in there. Um, I've got to also ask just how your, your family and your, your very supportive husband too, I know you're in business together and everything, but sadly lost his mum, Tessa Jowell, um, earlier this year. A terrible shock to all of the family. How, how are you all doing now? 
Yeah, no, she was the most unbelievable person. I mean, I feel unbelievably lucky to have had that time with her. Yeah. It's quite rare in your life to meet someone as special yeah. as that. And your mother-in-law, you know, yeah. it's a connect, a special Completely. connection. Yeah, completely, and they're doing so well. I mean, you know, you lead from the front in anything, don't you? And she just approached everything with such kindness, such purpose. You know, it's why she was so passionate about talking about her mission with brain cancer, about increasing its funding, which she did so successfully. And that speech she made, you know, I know it moved everyone but Absolutely. she you know when she was at home that sense of courage that sense of optimism it never wavered and it's mm -hmm. n i've never seen anything like it before mm. yes and you can see then where matthew your husband gets it from yeah can't you? he's he's amazed at all those qualities i mean working with him is a dream mm -hmm. yeah you've, you've got the balance perfect haven't yeah, you? Exactly. not a lot of people can do that <laughs> yeah so he's our ceo he kind of leads the company and then i lead the creative side so it's, it's perfect yeah it's the perfect balance